Up to this point, most of the chemistry we've learned in Chem 202 and 203 has been focused around functional groups that contain oxygen, especially carbonyl compounds and alcohols. Now we're going to turn our focus to a different class of functional groups, those that contain CC pi bonds. We'll start with alkenes. Alkenes contain CC double bonds between sp2 hybridized carbon atoms. The double bond consists of a sigma bond, formed from the direct overlap of an sp2 hybrid orbital from each carbon, and a pi bond, formed from the side-to-side -side overlap of their unhybridized p orbitals. Since both carbon atoms are trigonal planar with 120 degree bond angles, the entire functional group is essentially planar, with the pi bonding electrons hovering above and below that plane. Unlike in functional groups that contain only sigma bonds, alkenes have restricted rotation around the CC double bond, so the relative positions of their substituents are fixed. When discussing alkenes, we often refer to the ends of the alkene, so two substituents that are attached to the same carbon are at the one end of the alkene, while the two groups on the other carbon are at the other end. Alternatively, we can talk about the sides of an alkene, the two groups on different carbons that are pointed in the same direct general direction are said to be on the same side of the alkene. Because of their restricted rotation, alkenes with the same connectivity, that is the same groups attached to all the same carbons, can have two different orientations of those groups, or two different stereoisomers. For instance, two butene can have the two methyl groups on the same side of the alkene or on opposite sides. We call the former cis-2-butene and the latter trans-2-butene, where cis and trans refer to the relationship between the two methyl groups. With more than two substituents on the alkene, cis and trans aren't quite descriptive enough, and we use a different naming system. To use this system, we compare the two groups on one end of the alkene, assigning one group higher priority based on the atomic number of the, ato of the atoms directly attached. If two of the same atom are attached, usually this would be carbon, then we list the three other atoms in order of descending atomic number and compare our lists atom by atom. When we find a difference, the group that has the higher atomic number gets the higher priority. We then examine the higher priority groups on each end of the alkene. If those two groups are cis to one another, then we call it the Z alkene for the, for the German Zutzamen, or together. I don't speak German. If the two highest priority groups are trans to one another, then we call it the E alkene for entgegen, or opposite. Let's work through an example. On the left end of this molecule, it's relatively easy to see that the CH3 group is lower priority than the ethyl group. But on the right end, it's trickier. The first atoms attached to this alkene carbon are both carbon. So we list out the atoms they are attached to. C, C, H, and C, C, H. Still a tie. So we have to go further out. We follow the path of highest priority, so we go here and here. This top carbon is bonded to O, H, and H, while the bottom carbon is bonded to N, H, and H. Since O is higher atomic, num atomic number than N, this group gets the higher priority. Since the two higher priority groups are pointed in the same direction, that is, they're cis to one another, then the alkene has the Z configuration. 